Welcome, everybody. And as you know, as we always do, welcome to uh, my wonderful ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between. Um, grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to it. This is episode 24 of Straightforward with Miss B, alongside um, with my um, co-host who's back from vacation this week, Mr. A.G. What's up, A.G.? Hey, baby, I'm back, man. I'm back and ready to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm roaring. You so phony. <laughs> I'm roaring with this. I'm just ready. You, you ready to take a nap. That's what you're ready to do. <laughs> I just took a nap. It just went a long one. <laughs> oh, goodness. See what I have to deal with, you guys. Anyway, um, so yeah, so you was um in Florida. I did let the people know on the podcast that you were going to be missing on last week's episode. Um, yeah, so how was your vacation? Oh, it was lovely. I took the whole entire family. Okay. To Disney World. Oh, that was nice of you. The grandkids and did your mom Everybody. go? No, nah, my mom didn't go, but my wife's mom went. Okay. Yeah, three kids and two grandkids and a mother-in-law. Okay. All right. Well, that was very nice. I have not been to Disney World probably since I was a young child. I keep saying that's one trip that I definitely want to take, but I want to make sure that, you know, I, I get the full experience. I heard that Disney World is uber expensive <laughs> these days. All right, I got three things you need. What? A sweat rag, <laughs> your pocketbook, <laughs> and a comfortable pair of shoes to walk in. Oh, goodness. I bet it was kind of hot out there. You said a sweat rag. For, oh, you yeah. know, for people who don't know what a sweat rag is, basically just, you know, the rag you use to bathe with, people just walk around and use it to, you know, wipe up the sweat in the hot sun. So that's what he's go talking to, go, about. Go to Florida and you'll find out what a sweat it, rag is. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> yeah. See you out there, Mark. You're going to know what it is. Oh, my God. Sweat rag. And don't forget your pocketbook. Don't forget your pocketbook. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. That's what I said. I don't. I don't have any kids, but I still, even as you know, just an adult, I do want to. Oh yeah, they make got it to adult stuff world. too. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, they, they got do. Got adult rides. So. Mm -hmm. I went on some shit. I was. I want to go back on. <laughs> oh goodness. Mm -hmm. mm, so did you guys go to? Where did y'all go? Like it's different parks, right? It's different theme parks. Yeah. We went. We end up going. You know, they still got the COVID restrictions. Oh, so okay. You have to um, make reservations to go to the parks now. Oh so, my gosh. Okay. So we was able to go to the Universe Studios. Universal. Okay. Universal Studios. We went to that. Okay. And then we went to. You did you hear about when the when the when the um when the young guy fell from the ride? It was down there. He fell off a ride. No. Icon Park. It was in Orlando. Yeah, How long? A couple of months ago. Oh, that that was this year. No, I didn't hear about it. Oh, the yeah. the the black the little black uh guy the little heavy set dude. Right. Okay, so that was it. Yeah, That's yeah. in Disney I mean, you know, in Orlando. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's called Icon Park. Oh wow. Got, um, if you ever went to Vegas and they got the Ferris wheel, where you go on there. The big one with ten people can get on and mm -hmm. go around real, real slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got one of those, and mm -hmm. they got an aquarium and three D rides, and I got a, it's just nice. They got um, what you call we we take pictures with the statues. You know what I'm saying, like Shaq and yeah, like and Madam. Uh, what do they call it, Mademoiselle Wax Museum? That's what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, they got about? one. They got one there too. Okay. Yeah, or Ripley's. Yeah. Ripley's. I believe that's what they call. Yeah, they also Mademoiselle. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know Ripley's and Mademoiselle. Sometimes they them wax figures just don't. They'll be a little off from the people that they supposed to be representing. <laughs> if they gonna charge you to go in there and take a picture, you better believe that that ain't gonna be off. 
<laughs> I bet it won't be, but I, sh- I damn sure wouldn't take a picture with somebody that's supposed to be Beyonce, but looking like somebody else <laughs> and not Beyonce. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you you and the family had a wonderful time. Um, what was last week? Last week was Father's Day, right? Right. Yeah, so shout out to the fathers. Um, we didn't get a chance to salute you guys um, on the last um, episode of the podcast, but happy Father's Day. I hope all of the dads out there had a wonderful time. Um, I wish my father happy Father's Day. Um, I didn't get a chance to spend time, but I will be doing that hopefully this weekend on Saturday. We're going to spend our little time together. Um, but my mom did take them out to eat and stuff. So they went to, uh, I believe they went to Chateau Alain um, to have a nice dinner with some of his friends. Um, but yeah, so shout out to the fathers. Other than that, I was just chilling. You know, I'd be on some. Sometimes, most times, I be on granny duty, so that's what I was doing um, over the weekend. Um, but hopefully, I can get you know get some stuff going on this weekend. You know, some me yeah. time, some me time in. Um, but anyway, so this is episode twenty four. So you guys, some weeks, some weeks be extremely busy for me, and I don't get a chance to kind of uh, you know really think about what the topics is going to be um kind of just like a free for all conversation so today that is what we have set up for you guys today um so hopefully you can deal with it we still go keep it straight up and you know funny at the same time i don't want to really deal with any too too you know heavy topics we've been talking about deaths for the past couple of weeks as well, Um, you know, and there has been, of course, more deaths. I've seen some couple of NFL players, some young guys in their 20s passing away this week. Um, We had a rapper, little TJ. He got shot. Luckily, he's still alive, and apparently he's doing well. He had to have um, emergency surgery. Um, I believe they said he got shot maybe 11 times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, so we don't definitely don't want to, you know, tap into those topics, but we did want to, you know, just bring it up, um, briefly and, you know, send our prayers out to, um, those individuals and of course their family and loved ones. So today, um, let's see, let's talk about, can I start? (laughs) Go ahead. I want to talk about (laughs) the difference. And Mother's Day and Father's Day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and why is it so? Okay, so what what let me tell first you explain the reason why you wanted to bring up this topic. Because it's an extreme difference in the two holidays. Okay, give me an example. Mother's Day. Oh my God. Mother's Day. We're going to do it so big. And oh my gosh, dinner everywhere. And <laughs> man, we're going to celebrate our mothers. <laughs> Father's Day. You'll let that shit go by with like a regular day. Don't even think about it. If somebody don't tell you. <laughs> and why is that so? Um. Well, because, you know. I'm not a mother. I, of course, I don't have any kids. However, I am a female. And um, I, I do have, you know, well, I used to have <laughs> before I reached my age, but I used to have the ability to birth kids. I just never chose to birth them. Um, but um, as a female, hold on, as a female, first of all, as a female, we populate the earth. We are mother okay. earth. We are mother right. nature. Okay. We are the Queens of the planet. Okay. It, it, it begins with us and it ends with us. Okay. So that's my first reason as to why mothers are celebrated more on their holiday versus men. Now, my second reasoning, (laughs) my second reasoning is 
mothers, I would say back in the 40s and 50s, um, for those out there who likes to, you know, research history, I'm kind of like a history buff myself. But in the 40s and 50s, it was very much about, you know, women just basically playing their roles as a wife, you know, being Susie Homemaker, taking care of the kids, while, you know, the man uh, was responsible for, of course, being the breadwinner of the home and going out and working all day while the woman t- took care of the household, right? Um, then the 60s and 70s came along uh, where women, of course, started to want to experience equality in this world. Um, you know, men was making more money than us, and they still do on jobs. Um, women was not able to, you know, just kind of have that same level of respect. There were certain jobs that women couldn't necessarily apply to. So women started fighting for women's rights around the um, 60s. And, you know, of course, with black folks fighting for their rights as well, um, women also took the opportunity to then, you know, use that opportunity to say, hey, hey, we're not just, you know, Susie Homemakers. We're not Uh, You know, a lot of us necessarily don't want to have to be in that typical wife's role where they don't work and they just stay home and cook and clean and take care of the kids. You know, we we do a lot more things. There's more to us. Um, So that kind of evolved from the 60s, the 70s. Then it was this it was this increase of, you know. I would say maybe. Yeah, I could say maybe the drugs. When drugs started being heavily on our streets, it started impacting our communities. And specifically for us black people, you and I, um, it, it, it definitely impacted our black community heavily. And then you saw a lot of, you know, a lot of these families that were, created and there were tight you know tight-knit families they started to break apart right so you started seeing you know you started seeing you know your fathers and your uncles and your brothers and your cousins hell and your sisters your mamas your grandma moms getting addicted to eat whether it was crack cocaine or whatever heroin or whatnot and they just it broke up the family dynamic right so at some point we start seeing a lot more of our male, you know, human beings or species dying, you know, they're, they're dying. They're getting placed in prison. They're having to do a, you know, doing these long stints in prison and jail. So they were taken away from, taken away from the home, you know? So women then found themselves having to kind of become that backbone especially for the kids, and they had to then, they were forced to kind of take on a lot of responsibility that used to be, you know, the male's responsibility. We had to go out now and and, and take these jobs and work these long hours and work more than one job just because, hell, we might have had two and three or four or five kids that we had to take care of. You know, we want to we make sure we still try to provide for our kids, make sure they're in school, make sure they get to go to college, you know, play in sports, you know, do things of that nature. So women find themselves placed in a predicament where we were now taking on the role of not only, you know, the women of the house, but also the male of the house as well. Okay. So with that, now women having that full responsibility, you would think as a form of appreciation, people would go all out for them on Mother's Day. You know? People would make a big thing about it, make it make it a big deal. You know, your kids, you know, your husband your brothers, your uncles. Yeah, make it a big deal about the women. Like I said, the women, we take on a heavy, heavy, heavy load at times without anybody's help. So, hell, why not? Why not? Give us give us that silver platter on Mother's Day. 
Okay, I want the same. Tell me why not, why why the men, I mean the fathers tell me they tell me their story about them. <laughs> I just told you the story. You told me a story about the woman. They don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve it. <laughs> you you had to say all the rest of that shit. You just couldn't say it that <laughs> You could have said that ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. No, nah, I'm just time. playing. No, I won't say. <laughs> I won't say that men no don't deserve it. If it weren't for us, I believe be walking around with them damn eggs. You're right. We definitely need you guys to birth kids. Um, well, to create them, not birth them, but create them. Um, but I mean, as far as the men goes, I think that men should be celebrated as well. Um, on Father's Day. You guys should be gifted, you know, if you if you if you meal that like flowers or, you know, a nice dinner or if you want a gift, you know, yeah, I think I think that good fathers, good I'm stressing good fathers, um, should be treated well on Father's Day. Okay. So, so the good fathers, fuck everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So good mothers, Forget everybody. bad mothers, everybody, all the mothers, regardless, whether they yeah. good or bad. So <laughs> yeah, the like, mothers, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> yeah, the mothers, regardless. But when it comes to the males, you know. You, you, you so you you came in here wrong. with this topic at the blue. So listen, you guys. We usually have like a couple this free this freestyle day. I know, but still, you said okay. Usually, we <laughs> usually you guys we will have a pre-production <laughs> meeting before we go live on this <laughs> podcast, <laughs> and we was sitting there kind of. I told him, hey, I really don't have no topics, but I thought we could talk about cancel culture. At no time did he mention this this topic about Mother's versus Father's Day. I forgot until you said something about Father's Day. It just popped up in my oh mind. Oh my god! So apparently, was, so you didn't get you didn't you didn't feel you didn't feel happy or you know you didn't feel the love on Father's I, Day. I, I mean, I was driving back home from Orlando on Father's Day, so and then one of my wife's close friends passed away that morning, so you know I'm okay. I got I got a card from my family my loved ones i got a card i did get the happy father's day you know and i did have the opportunity to for, for father's day to be made up to me you know so i'm good okay i'm, just, I'm checking. just saying when i did come home and try to go <laughs> they want to do nothing for you <laughs> Nobody else was talking. We went no dinner over there, and you know what I'm saying. And we did some yesterday, and all oh that wow, yeah, it was a lot of that. You ain't feeling no love. Well, you feel you yeah. felt a little love with the card, like you said. Oh yeah. So I feel love every day. I'm just talking shit for the other ones. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I got the everyday love, oh, everyday Father's Day. Oh my God, y'all men kill me, kill me. Y'all just be worried about the wrong things. You got to listen to the motherfucker that tell you, <laughs> goddamn fuck them, they don't deserve it. <laughs> Straight out, they ain't trying to goddamn come up with nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, they just don't fucking deserve it. Fuck we we need to just get rid of Father's Day altogether, right? That Father's shouldn't even be a holiday. <laughs> Write it on the calendar, though. But don't goddamn <laughs> right. <laughs> and then another topic I want to discuss: mm -hmm. Juneteenth. Okay, I'm from Alabama, right? Mm -hmm. Never heard of Juneteenth. Until like ten years ago, a lady from Louisiana came and asked, "When do y'all celebrate? When is June? What y'all do for Juneteenth?" I'm like, "I Nothing. never had heard of that. Right? Like they don't never heard the word before. You right. know what I'm saying? How did we down south miss the Juneteenth? And they saying it's been going on. I think because, um, but you know." 
for the people that's listening in that have have not heard of Juneteenth um, either, um, Juneteenth um, basically represented, and it was on Father's Day as well, June 19th. Well, yeah, June 19th, but the United States has recognized it as a public, you know, holiday. Um, and it's to be celebrated on June 20th. So, you know, usually if the government recognized it, then, you know, government offices and stuff like that were closed. But basically, June, what Juneteenth is, um, basically it is a um, celebration <clears throat> day to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the United States. Um, the holiday was first celebrated in Texas, which is why I believe that other states like Georgia, Alabama, Florida may never, never have heard of it. Um, it was first celebrated in Texas where on June 19th in 1865, in the aftermath of the civil war, slaves were declared free under the terms of the 1862 emancipation um, proclamation. Um, so after that war, and the free, they declared the, the the slaves free. It didn't get the word didn't get spread <laughs> to Alabama <laughs> and Georgia <laughs> because of the people, you know, because of the um, you know, plantation yeah, owners, want, slave owners. They didn't want to celebrate that shit. Exactly, they <laughs> didn't want other slaves in these other states to know that hey, technically yeah, you guys are free. <laughs> yeah. I ain't that some shit? Some, ain't it? Because I'm like, nigga, what the hell is this? And then I'm asking other motherfuckers, they like, what is it? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It took, like you said, in Texas, so I see why the lady in Louisiana might know about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. By them being kind of close together with one another. Right. So, but. Yeah, and it's crazy because I'm trying to, well, luckily in high school for me, high school for me, we had one teacher who was pro black. Like it was like an African studies type of class. I'm so glad I took that class um, because that is where I learned about a lot of these things that weren't being, you know, weren't being taught in the regular textbooks that we, you know, in the regular history class, these textbooks be leaving out all of this information. And they want to leave out slavery, but (laughs) They want to try to start leaving out slavery now. Right, right. So that's how, you know, kids like you and I just kind of, you know, never find out about things because it just was never in the textbooks now, unless you're a person that like reading books. Like like I said, I like history, so I like reading books. I look at documentaries about stuff that happened back in the day. That's, you know, that's another way that, you know, people can learn learn stuff just because them textbooks that we have and unless they change since shoot since we've been out of school well, and upgraded them down even more i hit them water them down even more oh wow that's not cool at all that's not yeah. cool at all well i hope everybody you know that didn't know about juneteenth now you know may you know hopefully you guys will go and do some further research just for yourselves you know just so you'll know um but, and have a barbecue next year. You know, I mean, yeah, have a celebrate, have a barbecue. It's kind of like people here in Atlanta was kind of celebrating it the same way we celebrate any other holiday, you know, 4th of July, Labor Day, Memorial Day. At least we know Juneteenth is a day for us. Right. You know, so and I think my shoot, now that I think about it, I think my neighbors were shooting firecrackers too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> On Sunday. <laughs> so they was doing, you know, they was doing it up. Um, but, yeah, so like I said, this kind of like a free-for-all conversation. Um, I know last week we touched on, well, I touched on, um, I talked briefly about the whole ordeal with um, Saucy Santana, the rapper, and how some old tweets that came up um, where he made some, you know, disparaging statements about, um, Beyonce and Jay Z's child, um, Blue Ivy's hair. Come to find out, he also um, had some old tweets where he made, you know, made a comment about Cardi B's child culture. I'm, I'm thinking like, 
why does this man keep talking about people's kids? Oh, yeah. People don't play about their kids. They don't play about their kids. So that kind of brought me um, brought me to the point where I was thinking about, hey, well, we could talk about cancer culture as a whole, and is it even a thing? I myself think that, you know, once these old things come up or if someone makes some um, a statement that kind of, you know, rubs the public the wrong way, say, for instance, you know, the statement the baby made at his concert and then, you know, he had the LGBT community coming after him. Then you had Dave Chappelle who made a comment in his comedy bit about trans and, you know, the community was after him. Um, then you had recently Lizzo, I believe, had put out a song and in the song, she stated some word. Um, it was like a, a slang word. I forgot what it was, but the people in the, um, the people in the, uh, I think it's part of like people who suffer from autism, I believe is affected, but some type of word, it was associated with some type of medical type of word where it offends those people who suffer from that medical um, condition. Um, so that community was, you know, the, that community was giving Lizzo some backlash about her song, but she did come out and apologize. But it's like all these people that be on the internet and Twitter, they be so quick to kind of, you know, try to put somebody down because of something they may have said true enough we all as individuals especially as adults we should you know think before we say things because we never know what type of effect now if you're somebody who may have said some stuff online when you was younger but then you grew up and you became famous or rich or what have you you know you get to a point where hey now you your identity is kind of associated with brands and and people who sponsor you and these companies who's putting money behind you so you do kind of have to think about things that you may have said in the past um but as far as people being just absolutely canceled i don't think it's i don't think it's a thing at all no nah, it's not gonna happen you ain't got that much influence yeah and it yeah. just be a group of people it just be like a small group of people you know, that some weirdos out there that's, you know, bringing on the backlash, but it's like not really your true supporters um, have something to say. You know, it's it's never really your true supporters who has supported you since day one um, that may have, you know, some difficulties sticking by you because of some crazy shit you said. Your supporters going, you know, maybe – I'll tell you, say, hey, maybe next time do it this way or do it that way. But they still, at the end of the day, you know, if they're a real supporter, they're going to continue to um, support you. So I think with that, I, there's no such thing as a, a cancel culture, I think. Um, yes, it's like like we was talking about earlier, you know, they might, they might can make something happen for about a week. Mm-hmm. But after that, something else going to be to happen, a new topic. They hate on somebody else. They look those type of people. They always searching for something to hate on. Right. So. Right. They move on. Right. You're absolutely correct in that. Let's see what else was going on in the news that kind of came across uh, my desk. Um, you was mentioning something. Oh, oh, oh. So. Do you look at, I don't look at much TV, but do you look at, um, or have you seen that show called The Black Ink Crew? The Black Ink Crew? Are you yes. About with they do tattoo like the tattoos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, Caesar, Caesar yeah. was like a black guy, I believe he was from New York, who owned a tattoo shop. Yeah, he is. Okay. So, this fool, somebody... And put them on blast. They put a video of um, like a, a ring camera video um, showing him beating his dog with a chair. Oh, not, a, not the dog. And now VH1 has cut ties with him. Oh, for real? When this happened? Today. I ain't heard nothing about that. Yes, I just saw a VH1 statement. The video, I believe, came out on yesterday. Um, but it was a very, very sad. What the dog do? It don't matter. You do not hit it no do dogs. Matter. No, it don't. 
No, it don't. Oh, dog, now I'm a dog lover. You do not treat dogs like that. You see what happened to Mike Vick? He was fighting the dogs, killing them, burying them in the back of the house. It don't matter. What the dog do? That's animal cruelty. What to hit the dog? It don't matter. I don't want no dog if I can't hit him. You can't hit your dog. Oh, and if you do, man. if you hit him, you better better hope somebody didn't catch you on video hitting him because that's animal cruelty. That's a you going to jail for that. I'm gonna get human rights, don't it? Don't Child, AG going, jail, AG going to jail, y'all. AG going to jail. I don't have a dog, so AG ain't going nowhere. <laughs> if your dog come running toward me like he finna bite me. Yes, AG the dog going to jail. was this is his dog. <laughs> he was just beating his dog. Now I didn't oh, beat, how bad did he beat him? You beat he, him to death? He beat that dog bad with the chair. What the dog do? I don't know, but it don't matter. It's always part of the story. I mean, I'm sure it is, but it doesn't matter. He was caught on video beating a dog, and that's animal cruelty. And now he probably is going to go to jail. Something's going to happen to him. He ain't going to jail because dog ain't dead. He lost, his, he lost his job, though. Yeah, now that hurt more than this time. Now, are they going to continue the black ink, or are they just going to take him off? How that's going to work? Um, VH1 stated that they have cut ties with him, um, but they will continue out the new season um, as I'm assuming his role on the show will not, him being gone is not going to make a, you know, a major impact to the show. The show can keep going on without him. Yeah, because they got Black Inks in different locations now. Right. Yeah, growed it. So you ought to have a nice little pocketbook and just, you know what I'm saying? You, you you think an apology might help him, or is he past apology? Apology ain't gonna help him. That was caught on video, and you know the world is the world is serious about these pets now. You playing? People what kind don't of dog people was it? don't play about pets. What kind of dog was it? Now I don't know all of that. It was like a mm-hmm. it was like a night vision, a night vision camera or whatever showing outside the front of his house and they just it kind of showed him just beating the dog real bad with the chair who who got hired to get that how did they get the video i guess maybe shoot probably some i don't know probably some girl you think he showed it to somebody <clears throat> somebody who apparently live in that house <laughs> or was staying there or was in there and got access to the video and now just blew up his spot that's why I ain't got no dog. Right there. Yeah. People serious about dogs. I'm I'm a dog lover, so I don't I you don't like to see I don't like my dog lives with my mom now. Oh, okay. What but I've had dogs growing up. Chihuahua. Chihuahuas. Uh, my first dog was a Japanese Akita. So that was a big dog. And then I had her for, what, 14 years. Then she passed away, and then after that, we got Chihuahuas. So, um, R.I.P. What the name is, C's? You dead? He not dead. (laughs) (laughs) Don't say that. He not dead. Uh, His career is. (laughs) So, right now, where you think he at? Sitting at home, beating his head up against the wall? Yes, crying. Somewhere telling a joke. He's somewhere you know, crying, or he's somewhere probably acting tough, like you know. Talking to his lawyer. I'll be all right. Uh, can they do that though? Yes, they can. It's animal cruelty, man. They, especially the white folks. When it come to these pets, you better not do nothing what to no pet and let him? them see you. The what dog didn't. Dog the dog him? did not attack him. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Man, I saw the, the video. Time, listen. Check, check this out. I saw the vi- the I end, saw the video. Yes, from beginning to the end. So the dog ain't do nothing. He just was mad. Right. And took the anger out on the dog. Correct. The dog okay. did not attack him. So I asked you what the dog did, and you should have said nothing. The dog. You kept asking me, and I said, and "You ain't say nothing. You <laughs> said it didn't matter. You should have just said nothing." The, the dog, dog didn't do nothing. The dog did do nothing. <laughs> That's what you should have said. The dog did not do anything. That you know of. 
that I saw the on the video. I make it on there, the dog be the you go where you go me. online and you look at the video. The dog. No, did. I'm just saying. I'm talking about Caesar. Now the dog would have bit me. That's what you gonna, gonna say. Make this dog bite me. Oh my god! Real so you'll have so you'll have a reason to hit it. Yes. Okay. I have a leg to stand on. Mm-mm. I'm just not a. I just don't. I'm animal cruelty. You know you can't say that. Yeah. This dog. And they go. They gonna search and and search for their podcast. And they go use this podcast in court. I don't give a damn. I don't have a damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> Back to that. <laughs> so I can say whatever the hell I want Shoot, to. Now. You better you be- call me. You better believe me- one day them grandkids gonna ask for a dog. They gonna take it home with them though. They don't live with me. They gonna bring them over to your house. Okay, but they gonna take it back with them. But while the dog is at your house visiting, he better not attack me. You gonna take <laughs> take your egg out <laughs> of the dog. <laughs> You better not attack oh me. You better not do nothing to me. Oh my God. <laughs> and he'll be all right. Me and him will be all right. Everybody who's listening, please do not put unless unless you're trying to defend yourself if an animal attacks you, then I can excuse that. But if the dog or any kind of animal does absolutely nothing to you just because you are angry, do not take it out on your pets. Please. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. But if that dog attack you and bite you, your reaction is whatever it be. Child. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of this podcast because you talking crazy now. Oh my God. Uh anyway. So we're gonna see y'all next week. Next week will be twenty five. Yeah, we'll be oh, 25 we episodes. Pop, pop some champagne, man. Oh, my God. We'll have to pop one. Yeah, if you're here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He's on what strike one, going? you guys. He got two more strikes. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, oh. let me play the outro music. <laughs> so we can get out of here. All right, so this was a free for all. Um, again, thank you guys for tuning in to our crazy sales. We appreciate you. Um, if you have any topic ideas or questions that you would like us to answer, feel free to you know, you can send me an email at straightforwardmedia at gmail, um, or you can DM us on Instagram at um, straightforward. Um, MSB, that's S T R, the number eight FWD MSB on Instagram. And don't forget to follow us on all social medias as well. And until next week, say goodbye. Peace. So, and I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>